Bad luck, good luck. Phil broke his big toe and had to stay home from school. One morning, a radio DJ called his house. What colored is Clifford the dog, he asked. Red, said Phil, and for knowing the right answer, he won a brand new bike. Rhonda lost her backpack with all her notebooks inside. The next day, a girl named Kate found the backpack and returned it to Rhonda. The notebooks were gone, but Rhonda and Kate became good friends. In these two stories, bad luck brings good luck. Another way to say this is April showers bring May flowers. Questions. Why did Phil have to stay home from school? Now, Phil broke his big toe. So, he broke his big toe. Phil would have won the bike even if he had gone to school. True or false? Well, I would say that's false because if he wasn't there to answer the question, he wouldn't have been able to win the bike. Who found Rhonda's backpack? Phil, Kate, or the radio DJ? Should be Kate. Kate found the backpack. How did Rhonda's bad luck turn into good luck? Now it said, the notebooks were gone, but Rhonda and Kate became good friends. So, Rhonda and Kate became Good friends. April showers bring May flowers. In this saying, are showers the same as good luck or bad luck? Now, do you guys like it when it rains? Now, sometimes it's fun when it rains. But in, in Japan, the rainy season is kind of June. But in America, the rainy season tends to be in April. So in April, there's lots and lots of rain. So I would probably say bad luck. So the, shot, the rain is supposed to be the bad luck, but the flowers are the good thing. All right, questions. Why do the words Rhonda, Phil, and Kate all begin with capital name letters? Capital letters. I would easy answer, they're names. Yeah, names begin with capital letters. Spell the word that completes this sentence. Phil broke his big... Do you guys know what he broke? He broke his big... Toe, T-O-E, which should not be written as one word. Notebook, good luck, backpack. Good luck, good luck should be two words. Can you look up the meaning of a word in an index, an atlas, or a dictionary? Now, an index, that's not the answer, but an index is at the front of a book and it tells you what is inside your book. Like when we do the Grapeseed readers, and we have the pages that tell us what the story names are and then what page that story can be found on. That's an index. An atlas is a big map. Now, sometimes it's of a city, and sometimes it's of a world, and sometimes it's a country, but an atlas is a type of map. So you wouldn't look up words in a map. You would look them up in a dictionary. <laughs>